Hello and welcome. Assalamu alaikum. You're watching Greenwich Live Sessions. This is your host Omar Khan and I'm back with another show and a pack of guests. Because today is Friday and we do a literature review on Friday. Today's program is about a writer about writer called Jeffrey Chaucer. His name is, I hope I pronounced that right. Because he was born in 14th century and I was not born in the 14th century. But still, uh, who don't read the books, we are going to do this interest in the place of their sessions. And today, who was Jeffrey Chaucer? And what did he do? Uh, they will tell you that he is the father of contemporary poetry. Why do he say that? We will share this in today's show. And his extraordinary work. Uh, wo aapke saath share karenge. Uh, but uh, he has done some serious work which we know literature students but those who are not interested in and are literature we will develop their interest develop so I am with my co-host Sundus Anwar and now I am going to pronounce their name pronounce karne lago, naraz ho jati hai usually Lekin, uh, welcome to the show Sundus hope you are doing well uh, uh, Assalamu alaikum. Yes, I'm doing fine. Uh, everything's good. And uh, you've pronounced the name as well, right? And Jeffrey Shouser has been named in the name of the ten on ten. Chale, thank you. I'm going to learn a little bit. So today, who is with us? Who is with us? Okay, uh, definitely. Uh, we have the master's batch with us today. Our master's students who are just about to you know, uh, go out of university. Uh, first, I'm going to introduce Iram Tanvir. Iram Tanvir is basically our, she's almost going to leave the university uh, one or two semesters away. She has done her bachelor's from camps and she is doing her master's from Greenwich University in literature. She's a former teacher at Habib Public School, Beacon House and St. Michael's. So, you know, she's from our education field as well. Hello, Iram, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine as well. The next we have one more senior with us, Asma, Asma Abdul Jabbar. Asma is actually uh, the same way she's also going to, you know, leave university very soon. Asma has also done her master's from Greenwich University in literature. Also, she is, uh, uh, she has done her, what should I say, bachelor's from Karachi University. And now she's going to be a student of PhD in English literature from UPM Malaysia. So all the best for that, Asma. How are you? Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. I'm good. Uh, so moving forward, uh, Umar, I have both great names of my, you know, what should I say, circle with me. Asma and uh, Iram are both champions when they start talking and when they start, you know, giving us uh, great insights about uh, how literature is and what their understanding is. They're always very fruitful lessons. We're starting off with Jeffrey Chaucer because uh, Jeffrey Chaucer was the person who started the whole idea of poetry and how he, you know, gave a new look to it. He wrote a very long and epic poem, Canterbury Tales. That was something that we all have discussed in our you know, university as well. All the teachers must know, and you know, all the teachers have given us amazing lectures on that as well. So Asma, starting off with you, uh, tell us about the prologue, that how do you take the prologue of Jeffrey Chaucer's Canterbury Tales? Um, basically, Chaucer first there, the Chaucer shed off the influence of the French and Italian models, which was based on fantasy and dreams. And he started uh, writing on realism. Okay. He, uh, yeah. uh, in the prologue, uh, all the characters were realistic, what were happening in 14th, 15th century, and what is still happening in our society. If we uh, start uh, reading uh, Chaucer's Canterbury Tales, we uh, imagine that uh, he's not talking about 14th, 15th century, he's talking about our own society. It's still happening, what, the corruption, the religious corruption, social corruption, all it is still happening today. Mm, I can totally understand. Iram, uh, you also talk about the time in which Chaucer was writing. I heard amazing lessons from you as well yesterday. So tell us about it. Uh, basically, Geoffrey Chaucer was the first one who introduced English literature. And he was the first one to put the brick of it. Because before that, all the literature was in French and Latin language. So he was the first one to introduce it. And let's go to the background of Geoffrey Chaucer once we start talking about it, so we can't ignore that. So he basically was linked to Queen Elizabeth. And during that time, uh, when they had England had war with French, at that time he, was, he participated in the war ex, uh, as well. And he was set as a prisoner also. So when come to Canterbury Tales, when he wrote Canterbury Tales, it was presented in front of Queen Elizabeth and Queen Elizabeth 
appreciated it she liked it because she was praised in it and as a reward he was given pension of 50 euros a uh, yearly back then so 50 euros but, meant a lot yeah at that time it did so um asma just to- talk about it that canterbury tales can link to today's society as well because each character in this discuss the society issue that we all are facing nowadays too so we can start with the uh, uh, yeah asma for instance we have an example uh, during corona virus jo hamari society mein mask us waqt 5 rupaye ka milta tha aaj wo 100 rupaye ka milta hai so that's the corruption and that was happening at that time also ये वैसे ये वैसे हमेशा से ये मसला रहा है लेकिन वैसे खातन का बड़ी एक्सपर्टीज है बारगेनिंग कराने पे तो आप लोग सौ रुपए का मास्क पचास रुपए करवा लेती होंगी वैसे आज भाव ये सारी तीनों की तीन खातन है मेरे साथ तो मतलब आप बारगे मैं मानने को तैयार नहीं हूँ कि बारगेनिंग नहीं होती होगी बारगेनिंग के बाद भी फिफ्टी का होता है ना फाइव रुपीज का नहीं होता करप्शन फिर भी है करप्शन तो है लेकिन वो बारगेन की वजह से भी बड़ी करप्शन बढ़ती है वजह वो पता है कि सौ रुपए अगर अगर बी, अगर बीस रुपए की बोल दी तो वो आगे से बोलेगी दस रुपए में दो तो इसलिए वो शुरू सौ से करते हैं देते बीस में खैर कमिंग बैक टू आर टॉपिक सो सोनस आर वी गोइंग टू यू नो लुक एट सम ऑफ हिज वर्क टुडे या Okay, so, um, you know. uh, Umar, what we want is, you know, the whole idea behind the literature show has always been to actually, you know, wake people up and tell them that you should read things. Why we chose the Canterbury Tales or we chose Jeffrey Chaucer was to make people realize. Ah, uh, today, our webinar was on literature, and I had I loved it, and I learned so many good things. I told them that poems actually bring the non-real to real. To hmm. you know taking that stance forward i just want to say that you know poetry has always been very close to every literature student's heart because that's how you know you connect and how you go in another alternative and intellectual levels of your understanding my idea to bring jeffrey chaucer forward was to make people understand that every sheep the the black sheep in the you know the whole society is that sheep who actually shows the real character of the society so you know you can call him that person who actually woke people up from the uh, cruelties of the church from the cruelties of uh, uh, taking wrong way religion amai sath amai christian uh, friends bhi hote hain class mein and they discuss it so well they're like it was not like this you, you know religion was not like this it was portrayed like this church was actually taking advantage of people so i would really appreciate if uh, iram talks about this you know iram uh, take politics and with it yeah so um as we could see over there uh, it was believed that some critic says that jockey chaucer was basically uh, portraying protestant in a, a very good light and as he was pleasing king uh, queen elizabeth so it was believed that he was basically favoring uh, protestant so in this when he was further talking about religious corruption that could be seen even that had been a problem from long time there is the character of sumner and there is a monk and they have discussed that the monk had it was described the way he had a big uh, he had a he was always hungry so over there it represented his uh, the deadly sin as well all right and over further he talks about uh, the cross the red cross so he enlightens the errors that society was failing how the partner takes the money and how corrupt it was that he takes the money and then he gives the pardon and we can see the religious religion corruption it not only to christianity only it linked to every other religion every different era which had faced this problem from from the very beginning absolutely so, agreed absolutely agreed and and what we have noticed over the years uh, in in fact since the beginning of time uh, we are living with two religions the one religion that was created by the god and one cre- uh, the re- other religion that is created by men so whatever men make they they there's always flaws so if you follow things that men make so naturally you know problem will occur asma your take on what iram said uh yeah exactly iram said very, said very well and i want to add this saying that uh, corruption on the other hand but the most uh, problematic thing in that society is that nobody wants to hear their flaws and the same thing that we are doing हम अपने फ्लॉज नहीं देखते हम इवन तो वही सब कुछ अभी भी हो रहा है वही करप्शन हो रही है वही सब हो रहा है लेकिन हम अभी भी अपने फ्लॉज नहीं देखते चौसर जब 
लेट मी शेयर माय एक्सपीरियंस तो मैंने चौसर पढ़ना स्टार्ट किया मैम नादिया से सो आई स्टार्ट रीडिंग एंड आई सेड वाओ व्हाट अ करेक्टर मैम नादिया सेड व्हाट एंड आई वाज क्वाइट एट दैट टाइम सो देन शी एक्सप्लेन मी दैट एक्चुअली शी इज मॉकिंग टुवर्ड्स द सोसाइटी द सिंपल वर्ड्स लाइक गोल्ड द लैंग्वेज फ्रेंच व्हिच वर नॉट अलाउड टू यूज बाय रिलीजियस पीपल and they were using it so that the corruption so every character is very amazing when you start reading a choice even if it's only prologue when you start reading prologue you literally like it aur uske baad aur maine usko jab padhna shuru kiya to fir uske baad main ek character khatam hota tha aur main foran dusre character pe matlab usko rakhne ka dil nahi chahta tha itni realistic aur itne zabardast characters right uh, we will talk more about the characters but at the same time we have got audience with us and lots of comments so dekhte hain hamare sath kon kon hai nadia kaleem ma'am ka apna zikr kiya she is with us watching us kehti hain poets and writers are here uh, so was chaucer he was the reformist uh, lit have been guiding and predicting kuch spelling mistake hai ya meri reading teacher literature literature has been guiding and proceeding i guess literature dekhe aap teacher ho ke short form slang use kar rahe ho na texting you know you are commenting at the live show so pura pura likhe na bachcho ko confusion ho jati hai so kya kehna hai is bare mein aapka definitely reformist being a reformist being a guider being a predictor everything is there dekho umar when we talk about people who write they write not only for the people jinko sirf padhna aata ho aap likhte ho har us shakhs ke liye jisko thoda bahut bhi padhna aata ho wo usse seekh sakta ho chaucer was that person jisne ek normal uh, tone mein lekar sab logon ko involve kara jab aap sab logon ko involve karte ho na you get a bigger audience and people start listening to you mujhe hamesha bola jata tha jab mere live session start hoye so this why are you not only talking in english why do you always incorporate urdu with it because i believe that if i am more Uh, you know what should i say approachable and more easier uh, to understand that's better i i always believe that my language is way much better than any language so mera to manna hai ki agar na ke jo approach logo ke paas zyada aasani se ja sakti hai wo achhi hai so yes he was a guider yes he was a reformist yes he actually predicted things because he knew it, agar aap unke wo literature ka wo puri canterbury tales hum padhe na umar you'll be shocked to see that how perfectly he has given one virtue with one sin one virtue with one sin how he has interrelated them so well i am very interested because uh, before the session i had no clue who mr chaucer was aur abhi 10 minute mein mera interest develop ho gaya so you know abhi a start hai abhi to hamare aur bahut se discussions kar rahe hain lekin you guys are doing a great job kyunki mujhe aaj se pehle pata nahi tha lekin aap logon ke 10 minute ke baad mujhe ye ehsaas ho raha hai ki mujhe janna chahiye ki chaucer sahab the kaun aur unhone kya kuch kiya hai kyunki Uh, अभी और भी बहुत से मैसेजेस आ रहे हैं एंड द कन्वर्सेशन दैट वी आर हैविंग उसके ऊपर कमेंट्स भी हैं सो आई विल यूज दैट आल्सो फाइजा शराज हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं कहती हैं वी आर स्टिल लिविंग इन द मेडिवल एरा चौसर हैड द ऑडासिटी टू मॉक द अथॉरिटी समथिंग वी कांट एक्सपेक्ट हैपनिंग इन मेनी प्लेसेस इवन इन टुडेस डे एंड एज एग्जैक्टली व्हाट आसमा वाज सेइंग आई वुड टोटली एग्री टू दैट आई आई थिंक फाइजा के साथ स्पेशली व्हेन यू टॉक विद फाइजा यू गेट अनदर लेवल ऑफ यू नो the political insights because she she has a very good uh, you know learning to it and i agree to her uh, ms shazia and mr says hello hi ms uh, right. i would agree to fizer's point as she just mentioned that now we do not have we can't write about religion openly we do not have the religious freedom especially in pakistan particularly in pakistan and for further that i me and uh, sundas were discussing that um, the curiosity once you talk about something the curiosity builds for example malaila youtube say book that got banned in pakistan i was very i was never curious to read it whenever i used to go to liberty books it was right in front of me and i never used to read it but the moment it got banned in pakistan it raised my curiosity uh, what is in it that it got banned so uh, over here you have to be in pakistan as linked to pakistan only so uh, i would say there are a lot of barriers i have to think about a lot of thing before writing and it had been a problem since the very beginning not only in pakistan over all the uh, globally and ms nadia just said the literature and the poets are the representation that is absolutely right ironically in pakistan we don't write much we don't read our own literature we are so much uh, open about That's western so literature, literature we read them a lot and we study them a lot when it comes to pakistani literature we take, we we taken pride in speaking their language but we don't we don't own our own language so when we are not bilingual then why would they 
आई वुड सो अग्री टू दैट आई वुड अग्री टू दैट असमा असमा ने भी बड़ा अच्छा पॉइंट लाइट थी अबाउट द मास्क एंड एवरीथिंग क्योंकि देखो जितना हमेशा हमने देखा है जैसे शाउसर को लेने का मतलब ये भी था कि दिखाना कि चाहे वो वाला एरा हो चाहे ये वाला एरा हो वाई एज स्पेशली इन पाकिस्तान इवन आई वुड रिप्रेजेंटेड दैट पे कि वाई डोंट बी कम आउट ऑफ इट वाई डोंट बी अंडरस्टैंड दैट सर्टन बैरियर्स आर जस्ट गोइंग टू मेक पीपल मोर क्यूरियस अबाउट इट बैनिंग अ गेम बैनिंग अ बुक बैनिंग एनी थिंग वुड एक्चुअली बिकम अ वेरी बिग थिंग एंड पीपल वुड गेट मोर अट्रैक्टेड टू इट असमा वट इज योर सी इन दिस हाउ डू यू टेक इट uh yes you are right in this and i want to add something uh whatever chaucer did we can see sir sayed ahmed khan did at the time of independence hmm. yeah. he wrote to make aware and even though people uh, don't know their rights hame bhi nahi pata hamare kya rights hain hame kya karna chahiye hum darte hain hum uh, agar kisi uh, shi- sorry to say agar hum kisi shia ke samne baithe hain to sunni ke baad नहीं कर सकता कि शिया गलत है और अगर हम किसी हिंदी के सामने बैठे तो हम उसके अगेंस्ट नहीं जा सकते दैट द बिगेस्ट फ्लॉ हमारे पास फ्री विल नहीं है कि हम बोल सकें जस्ट इफ इट्स गो आई आई विल रीफ्रेज दैट एज इफ के हमारे में देखें जहां हम कहते हैं कि फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच होनी चाहिए एट द सेम टाइम द वर्ड दैट वी चूज एंड द वे वी कन्वे अ मैसेज बहुत अक्सर ऐसा होता है कि लोग बात सही कर रहे होते हैं लेकिन उनका अंदाज ठीक नहीं होता तो उसके लिए भी यू नो इट्स पीपल हु Uh, have to spread that awareness. You have to give that knowledge to people. कि यार अगर आप ठीक uh, है आपकी बात controversial है उससे काफी मसले हो सकते हैं लेकिन आप बात बिल्कुल ठीक कर रहे हैं. So there's a proper way to portray that. But then again, uh, we're surrounded by ignorant people who will not take your even your right point because for them uh, they are right and they're not ready to accept anything. Or uh, we live in a world जहाँ to if you want to learn more. If you want to grow, if you want to increase your exposure, so you have to uh, be open for acceptance. You have to be open to accept that you know you might be wrong at some places. So, ये point बिल्कुल है और messages के असल में तादाद बहुत ज़्यादा आ रही है because अब मैं जरा शामिल कर लेता हूँ. All right. So, आप लोगों के बड़े fans हैं यार. You 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 guys are here for the first time, but uh, lots of messages for you. Father Shiraz is with us. Uh, Anna Malik is with us. Uh, we have um, <laughs> with us Rabia Rabiha Ayaz Khan. She says, "Woo, yeah, so you are fan. That's nice." Or uh, Moin Ahmed, my sathe, he posts uh, argument for um, Iram. He says, "Iram, there was no Queen Elizabeth or Protestant reference at that time." So, what would you like yeah. to say on that? Uh, this role was written in the time of Queen Elizabeth. And- the Queen Elizabeth one. Yeah, the Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, he is getting confused with the Queen yeah. one. Yeah, I, I think he might have gotten confused with that. And he wrote it. Plus, he uh, Geoffrey Chaucer had linked with at that time. He had linked with the uh, this royal family too. So even in the war, he was supporting them, and then he was sent to prison. So talking about that, he had linked with Queen Elizabeth. Uh, uh, it was believed that he wrote to please Queen Elizabeth, and he was even rewarded it. If you read the history of it, so he was even rewarded for the euros for writing it. Right. So, but जबकि मैं मानता हूँ कि Queen Elizabeth काफी सदियों से मतलब U.S. के कोई आठ दस president change हो गए वो माशाल्लाह अपनी जगह वहीं कायम है लेकिन वो छः सौ साल पुरानी नहीं है तो ये ये है वो Queen Elizabeth one थी जिनका आप जिक्र कर रही हैं ये वाली जो Queen Elizabeth है ये दूसरी है ये है सौ डेढ़ सौ साल में लेकिन ये दूसरी है आयशा अब्दुल रजाक हमारे साथ मौजूद है कहती है ऑल इन but still very much related to this century so what's your take i would i would take this point and i would prefer to it kisi bhi language mein baat ki bhi ho chahe it can be old english new english spanish french italian you take anything if it's relating to your era that's how a piece of literature actually speaks volumes humne start kiya tha reluctant fundamentalist mein jis se aaj hamara pehla literature review tha miss nadia ne mujhe baat boli thi ki how we have to believe how ha- we have to portray literature that it is something living and existing in every person and how we need to make sure that the people coming and the students coming forward now understand it read it as a part of their curriculum as a part of their learning aaj bhi jab hamara webinar hua it was beautiful and the way khurram uh, sir khurram lahi said it that you know we're not accessing we're not actually uh, making it available for our students and i would totally agree to that the curriculums need to portray more and more literature into them so that the philosophical the intellectual uh, growth starts at a very young age 
once it starts at a very young age the development is crazy it's so much better they are going to be way much better than all of us i would say so there can be there can be a lot of sir sayeds there can be a lot of alama iqbals only if we try in building them if only we try in understanding that literature ko apna ek stance milna chahiye aur un logon ko jo likh rahe hain jo publish kar rahe hain aage badhana chahiye by banning people by stopping them by making the means not available for them it's not going to be how the you know society is going to grow so we don't talk about it and yeah. and the thing that even the writers were a, a bit ahead of their time because at that time unke era ke log they, they are unable to understand what they are trying to say but uh, here we are 6 uh, centuries later praising all his work today in you know in this modern era so uh, i'm just thinking that kitna uh, zyada he was ahead of his time ki aaj 600 saal baad bhi unki baat ko aaj se relate kiya ja raha hai so that's just amazing yeah if you take, uh, see literature is all about that today as we have a webinar and they were discussing george orwell if you keep start discussing him and he talked about a long time back but we can totally link it to today's society as well 1984 so, yeah yeah 1984 even animal farm if you mm. like, so a lot of if you see literature it talks about you can relate it to uh, today's society as well but the ironical thing is this that we have stopped reading our own literature as miss nadia i had discussion we had a class with her and she opened me up with a lot of different literature russian literature we are having this whole course world literature we after reading those literature i realized that there's a lot more i can more relate to that literature rather than reading the western authors i'm not saying we shouldn't read western authors but i'm saying at least own something that is our own and yes. through writing we can represent and we can represent a society even if you see that there is islamophobia all right people there is so how can we raise it we can't shout we can't protest about it that's not the way the more you write the more you clear the views about it but ironically we don't write about it we don't pick a pen and we don't just write anything about it i remember but, but, doing a session i remember doing a session with miss nadia and uh, we did a session on a pakistani poet tawfiq rafat and uh, i would take the iram's point that uh, when there is pakistani poets who whose poetry we can relate with you know like uh, growing up reading the defo tales i cannot uh, relate with defo tales but if someone tells me koi people ya name ka darakh to main zyada uske sath comfortable rahunga you know so hum aapki badi achhi baat hai iram that why don't we promote our literature we we have we have poets so i think it's time that we should uh, own them and uh give them those platforms even to young students like you we should provide platforms uh so that Thanks. you guys can go on and write and uh, uh you know promote pakistani culture and promote pakistani positivity as writers you know uh, in the european side as well that's so true asma asma why aap ja rahi hain malaysia theek hai aap phd karengi wahan pe we cannot wait to hear more about that As- asma tell us what's going to be no i'm serious asma you're going to portray, portray all of us you're going to showcase you know how literature has been taught to you in karachi or you know in pakistan so what do you take this stance for because i'm i'm very uh, patriotic in terms of this okay, we should be portraying our you know pakistan in the proper way uh my first uh, thing is that if you want to bring change in a society so you will have to read you will have to speak and you will have to write so for the sake of changes um ye khade ho ke keh rahe hain ki tabdili aa gayi tabdili aa gayi tabdili aise nahi aati jab tak ke hum padhenge nahi start reading so reading is the best element main phd ke liye bhi jab wahan mera admission hua to wo isi basis pe hua ke research proposals pasand aaye research kyunki mera masters abhi in process hai so i wrote three research proposal for that और उसके लिए मैंने इतना कुछ पढ़ा जो मैंने शायद से पहले कभी नहीं पढ़ा था एंड आई थिंक ये उसी की वजह से चेंज है कि स्टिल आई एम डूइंग माय मास्टर्स बट आई गॉट एडमिशन इन पीएचडी सो आई थिंक रीडिंग इज द बेस्ट एलिमेंट टू चेंज एनीथिंग एनी सोसाइटी योर ओन थिंकिंग आई थिंक रीडिंग इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट दैट्स सो आई वुड आई वुड टोटली टेक दैट पॉइंट आयशा नजमी सेज व्हाट स्ट्राइकिंग अबाउट हैविंग सच अ is his extraordinary range the kind of poems house writes had never been written before in english that's what we said main yahi to bol rahi hu umar jab jab unhone likha tha na to basically us waqt us bare mein baat nahi kar sakte the aapko mana tha aapko church ki ya kisi bhi galat baat ke bare mein baat karna mana thi and even abhi bhi abhi hum log ne koi baat kari koi aisi controversial baat galti se bhi nikal jati hai they can take it point out and they're like oh my god they were talking about this they were talking about this 
आई स्टिल रिमेम्बर लिटरेचर में एक बुक की बात हुई थी आई टुक इट स्टैंड आई वॉज लाइक आई वॉन्ट रीड इट and everybody was against it and i remember saying that ki mujhe padhni hai mera dil chhane mein dekho hua kya hai and everybody was like you're not supposed to see that in a platform like okay i, I don't know I, i'm a person who reads how would i know ki mujhe ki, kisi ki likhi hui kitab padhni nahi padhni main to padhi hui pata chal jayega kya mera review banta hai us par agar ye banning ke hisab se dekhe to hamari history ke andar ek pakistani uh, rahe jo aksar ban rehte the and that was sadat hasan manto and later on pe movies bhi bani pakistan mein bhi india mein and we realized ke unka kaam bhi bilkul hatke tha he used to talk about uh, topics jiske bare mein koi baat nahi karta tha aur jahan tak hum chaucer ki baat kar rahe hain to ji unhone to likha hi pehle kyunki usse pehle english mein koi likhta hi nahi tha to uh, eh, pehli baat to unhone english mein likha tha ke log english mein samajh sake so and then again the points and the topics that he started off you know uh, pointing out society pointing out uh, all the uh corruption and uh, you know the religious aspects so i think he was a revolutionist back then and he himself was uh, a bureaucrat he was very active in politics as well so jahan unko ek writer se jante hain he was a very active person in many other fields as well yes why not uh, definitely iram what do you have to say about it if we take the canterbury tales and we take the seven sins and seven virtues in uh, respect so i just want to you know portray them first in front of everybody that what the exact you know seven virtues and seven sins were because they were like a handful because everybody knows about it he talked about chastity then the wise words with lust temperance with dujni charity with greed diligence with sloth patience with wrath kindness with envy and humility with pride the main what thing was pride is just in our islam maybe there's one thing that you know takabbur is something that's going to get you down and he portrayed it so well he had 24 tales and canterbury tales and he portrayed every single tale he interlinked them and he portrayed every single tale so perfectly uh, you know i want your stance on that yeah so basically it was canterbury tales is a satire in which he wrote it and over there we could see that he discussed the character of mon who was always hungry so what he represented from that was that there is a sense of gluttony and most of the time he used to go on hunting rather than praying rather than uh, worshiping he was mostly on hunting because mostly what he uh, wanted to fulfill was his his hunger his hunger for food and if uh, over there um, in canterbury tale the cloth also they were wearing silk which represented also the corruption silk is uh, believed as those who don't know the silk is as believed as uh, one of the expensive cloth so if a religious person is wearing it and this shows that how he is going against uh, his own words whereas a religious person of uh, yes, monk is exactly life. exactly uh, uh, the not divulging much into it kyunki iram to mujhe lagta hai ki hame pura na bata degi summary aur iram we need to make sure ki wo log read kare theek hai na you don't tell them everything but totally agreed with iram's point ki hum log ko ye baat bahut zyada note karwai jati hai what the person was wearing how their appearance was what they were talking about so we understand that why he was dekho कोई लिखता है ना किसी चीज को क्यों लिखेगा वाई आर दे राइटिंग इट दे राइटिंग इट बिकॉज दे वॉन्ट अस टू सी दैट यू नो देर इज अ डिफरेंस इज अ डिफरेंस इन अ पर्सन हु इज सपोज टू बी एंड यू नो द पर्सन हु इज नाउ फोर ट्रेन दैट रोल uh ana fatima is actually one of our alumni as well i recently got to know about it and she says how how so depicted uh, depicted the society we can't find anyone in our society because there is a lack of research we okay. have excellent writers but unfortunately we hardly know them I so agree to that. I so agree to that because आगे आगे लाते नहीं है हमारी यहाँ बहुत एक बहुत बड़ा लिया है मैं कहती हूँ हर teacher बोलता है हर teacher कहता है कि you know uh, students should come forward come forward but we need to give them the platform to come forward. एक रात में letter लिखा है इन्होंने comment नहीं लिखा letter लिखा है letter पढ़िएगा तो Samir Badu okay hi everyone my fellow Sauser was not only the father of english poetry but also the father of english literature he modified english language from french to british english medieval era presents the age of chaucer also called black ages oh black age pe baat karni thi mujhe chaucer works are their variety in subject matter genre tone and style and the complexities presented concerning the human pursuit of a sensible existence today what we have in english literature just because of chaucer sir Oh wow, beautiful. She's a she's an admirer. A very uh, you know detailed comment and बहुत सी चीजें आपको भी याद दिला देंगे जिस पे हमें बात कर रहे हैं. You know you should invite her to one of the literature sessions in future. 
definitely i think i think definitely i should because uh, kafi acha ikra is one of our colleague uh, you know appears as well or the black death i would talk about it uh, chaucer was writing in that time jab the, the black death came and you know it was the same way we are facing right now Th this was the one more relation i found in it okay right now we are facing the pandemic of covid 19 he was also a part of the one of the you know committees that came in his time the black dead in which a lot of people were taken away from him and once you see abhi jo hamari soch develop hui hai na in terms of his quarantine i don't think ye hamari itni develop hui thi past 2 3 years mein because we have sat at a place and we have actually thought about it how would asma and iram talk about this i want to have their views on it yeah at the time he was a physician character as well and what he did he earned more at the time of plague and that's the that's thing we are also doing and the more uh, yeah. the second character which was most important don't miss it that is wife of bath so amazing character mm, the wife of the bath definitely amazing character and uh, uh, ek aur cheez bolo sorry cutting you off uh, china has just reported a case of black death as well so you know bhai ek 14th century ka ek uh, you know 2020 just comes up with <laughs> new things every day yeah continue asma so wife of bath is an amazing character you can see all type of corruption in it uh, she was a woman of 14th 15th century but she married five times most of the critics say that it was she was a greedy person so that's why she had this and even though mo most of the critics say that uh, she killed uh, her previous husband and then uh, she got new marriage अच्छा so, सबसे सबसे बड़ी बात ये मैं मानती हूँ ठीक है सुंदर ये आज के लोगों को आज की खातिन को आइडियाज दे रही है ये गलत बात है क्वारंटीन है नहीं नहीं वैसे कुछ नहीं होने वाला मैं यही बोलने वाली हूँ कि देखिए सारे शोर बेचारे वैसे ही डरे सहमे कमेंट्स में भी हमारे साथ कुछ लोग होंगे बेचारे वही सिर्फ जाते हैं वो तीन महीने से कैसे गुजारा करते हैं Uh, मतलब कहीं से बेला लाता है कहीं से फ्लाइंग चप्पल आती है तो यार खातन को आइडियाज ना दें कि आप पुराने वाले से जान छुड़ाए और नया वाला ले आए मतलब उमर उमर देखो बहुत बड़ी बात यह है कि अगर हम देखा जाए ना पहले के जमाने में वुमेन वर एक्चुअली सब्जेक्टेड अ लॉट ऑफ बैड अगर आप इसमें भी देखोगे ना इसमें भी इन्होंने ये दिखाया है द हाउस ऑफ प्राइड वॉज रूल बाय वुमेन द्लेस वे चास्टिटी प्लेस वे लस्ट वॉज है Every single thing is actually portrayed by women because women were first treated as you know who witchcraft करती हैं बुराइयाँ फैलाती हैं इनके लिए सारे problems होते हैं ये मेरा एक critique हमेशा रहा है मैं जिन्हें जब भी literature पढ़ा है मैंने हमेशा critique करा है कि वो लड़की नहीं क्यों करा कोई लड़का भी कर लेगा कुछ नहीं होता किसी लड़की से भी गलती हो सकती है it's not like मैं मैं मुझे सारे आदत जब मैंने ये लिया भी था course मैंने बोला था sir इसमें क्यों house of pride में औरत ही क्यों थी क्या ठ एडम को एप्पल खाने के लिए फोर्स किसने किया था एडम ने भी तो खाया ना देखो फोर्स आपको मैं कर रही हूँ मैं आपको फोर्स कर रही हूँ उमर आप अपनी स्क्रीन बंद कर दे बंद कर दे आप क्यों करेंगे आपके पास खुद भी तो होना चाहिए ना मैं नहीं करना चाह रहा मैं नहीं करूंगा आपको खुश करने के लिए कर दूंगा मर्द तो बेचारे मासूम होते हैं ना तो ये बात तो देखें Yeah, uh, as uh, Asma just discussed, uh, wife of Bath. So, wife of Bath is basically a representation of that how power was more. Uh, uh, you can say power was more important than the knowledge at that time. Yeah, power And is power. Relate, related to today as well, how power is more important than the knowledge. Those who are unemployed and have degrees, they would they could relate it it, it to that, as uh, that. You need to have power. So, wife of Bath was the representation that to get the power, she had to depend on men, and this was her. Uh, like she got married so many times. So, considering that, so uh, for that, because she needed power, and women did not have power at that time. Even in, uh, I can debate that today. Also, it is relevant to that, but it would be a long debate. And other than that, Umar, your point that uh, it was the woman who. tempted adam meri maine bola nahi i just asked a question i just asked a question i didn't say anything i just asked the question get around my three girls so i know so ye woman power hai na dekhiye ye ye woman power hai this is where our women stand today that we gave more than equal opportunity equal opportunity ko bhi baat hi nahi hai you know mera manna ye hai ki it's a girls world and we just live in it हमारी तो बेचारों की कोई से ही नहीं है ना अगर कुछ से होती तो हमारे स्क्रीनशॉट आ जाते 
if i take that forward ms nadia kareem is actually asking us a very good question she says that one can't be productive until it's influenced what's your take on it as chaucer was influenced by boccaccio i will take this forward that yes uh, when chaucer was writing he was actually you know influenced by boccaccio he took some of his articles and he started writing about it i remember uh, it, it was in one of his tales uh, in his uh, the it was uh, it was the night tales or something that yes he took uh, some of the articles from boccaccio and he interpreted them because dekhe influence bahut zaruri hai isliye even this platform right now main hamesha bolti hu hum kisi platform pe jate hain agar hum usme positive aspect aur ek koi aisi opportunity nahi dikhayenge there is no use of coming on the tv just for you know showing yourself on tv mujhe hamesha koi bolta hai that you know some this why don't you call uh, you know somebody outside the education field somebody jis cheez ka mujhe pata nahi hai jis cheez ki productivity na kisi ka influence us pe nahi hai main un logo ko nahi bula sakti kyunki mera usme idea nahi hai aur main hamesha ye bolti hu itni baat karne ka matlab sirf ye tha to read to make people understand that reading is important and how you can relate reading with today's world your and, horizon changes and taking your point forward jo sabse badi irony na sirf pakistan ki bahut si jagah jahan you know uh, countries are struggling and the organizations are struggling the problem is ke jo bhi uh, relevant field ka banda usko head kar raha hota hai he is not there on merit for example science or technology ki baat ho rahi hai aur background science technology ka hai nahi स्पोर्ट्स हेड कर रहे हैं जिंदगी में बैट पकड़ा नहीं यू नो लाइक दैट सिमिलरली वी सीन पीपल हेडिंग एजुकेशनल फील्ड और खुद की एजुकेशन मैट्रिक पास भी शायद नहीं होती और डिग्री होती है तो जाली होती है सो so, ये एक बहुत बड़ी आयरनी है दैट आई टेक यू पॉइंट वेरी सीरियसली एंड इस बात पे वी शुड स्प्रेड अवेयरनेस कि इफ यू वॉन्ट लाइक यू नो पीपल टू गेट एजुकेटेड यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट लीडर्स एंड हेड्स who are on merit and who has the you know credentials regarding that field i would i would totally agree uh, umar aapko pata hai uh, iram aur asma they are geniuses you know jab class mein i still remember jab mera shuru mein start hua tha aur maine in logon se pucha tha ki what course to take so they guided uh, I, i was only introduced to asma that time so they guided us so well agar aapke seniors aapse bahut zyada close relationships rakhte hain aur apne juniors ko sahi tarah forward karte hain na तो मिस नादिया का ये पॉइंट अगर मैं इन लोगों पे रखूं तो दे हैव बीन ग्रेट इन्फ्लुएंसेस ऑन अस मुझे याद है मैंने इरम को जब भी मैसेज करा है जब भी मैंने असमा को मैसेज करा है आई एम स्टक समवेयर आई डोंट नो व्हाट टू डू दे आर द वंस दे टेल अस एंड इन्फ्लुएंस मैटर्स अ लॉट दैट्स व्हाई यू नो आज मेरा ले, मुझे इनको लेना इससे जरूरी था बिकॉज़ वी ओ इट टू देम एज जूनियर्स टू सीनियर्स आई ओ इट टू देम दैट दे शुड बी हियर बिकॉज़ दे आर अमेजिंग पीपल दे व्हेन दे टॉक ऑल ऑफ अस आर लिसनिंग दैट यू नो या यू नो सब चुप हो जाते हैं दे लाइक ओके फाइन यस यू नो they're there for a reason and, and at the same time i would like to you know congratulate asma as well ki you 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 know moving forward and uh, pursuing a uh, phd a uh, badi baat hai and you know when we talk about it so going outside of pakistan and uh, as sanjay said earlier that uh, you will be representing pakistan in the literature uh, students of pakistan over there so uh, it, it's uh, a huge honor for all of us then uh, you that you're pursuing that thank you so much thank you so much Ida and Asma, the first of all, thank you so much for coming, and this was an amazing experience with both of you. Uh, I will miss you guys so much, and you know, this is I don't know if I get the chance of getting you guys both again in this literature show because I would. Uh, okay, then you guys will go, and you know, I just wanted your, a good memory with all uh, both of you. Uh, thank you so much for coming. Any last words uh, from both of you? Thank you so much for having us here. And initially, I was very nervous. What, mm. what should I say? I mean. I was continuously poking uh, Sundas that even in the morning I called her and I told her. So thank you and thank you for all the praises that you give, even though I don't think I deserve them. But thank you so much. And likewise, our seniors have been influence of uh, on us, and we have been influence on you, and you would be influence on, on a lot of others, even on me. So thank you so much for having me. It was such a pleasure to be here. Asma, thank you so much, Sundas and Omar. I just want to say this: kindly start reading. Start reading to bring change in our society. So please start reading. So that's the only way to change our society. How much is saying it to you? <laughs> no, not at all. No, I will try to do it. But now, I will tell you that you guys are going to be serious. 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 होता है ना कि एग्जाम के अंदर आप फरे बना सकते हैं ये पीछे पूरा रिसर्च पेपर पढ़े हुए जो ये वर्क करी है इसने और माशाल्लाह वाकई मजाक अपनी जगह बट यू डिड योर रिसर्च एंड यू नो ये एक बहुत अच्छी चीज है जो हमारे लोगों में मिसिंग होती है 
के संदोष ने भी बोला कि एक बात टॉपिक पे बात करने आए बट बैकग्राउंड कुछ है नहीं एंड यू गाइज ऑल थ्री ऑफ यू एक्चुअली प्रूव इट के यू नो हुसर वॉज और उनकी सारी चीजें और लोगों में इंटरेस्ट पैदा कर दिया मुझ में इंटरेस्ट पैदा कर दिया सबसे बड़ी बात सो दिंग फारिस ने असमा आपको कहा कि यू हैव अ वेरी ग्रेट सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमर तो कोई लतीफा हमें भी सुना दे जाने से पहले थोड़ा नहीं मतलब आप हमारी चौसर की बातें खत्म हो गई सो यू नो वी कैन डू लाइटर नोट क्योंकि जैसे सुंदस ने बोला कि अब आप लोग चले जाएंगी बैकग्राउंड में मुझे तो गाना भी सुनाई दे रहा है तू जाएगी तो बड़ा याद आएगी मतलब ये है तो एक समझ लें एक तरह का फेयरवेल है तो कुछ सुना दें हमें कुछ मजेदार वाक्य कोई मेमोरी आपकी ग्रहणेटली मुझे सुंदस की एक बात एड करनी है इसमें अभी hmm. सुंदस ने कहा कि स्पीक फॉर योर राइट तो ये मैंने बिल्कुल रिसेंटली लास्ट सेमेस्टर ही सुंदस से ही ये चीज़ सुनी है कि स्पीक फॉर योर राइट सुंदस मुझे हमेशा प्रोव करती कि बोलो बोलो मैं नहीं बोलती हूँ तो ये चीज़ एक मैंने सुंदस से अब सीखी है कि स्पीक और बात रही जहाँ तक ह्यूमर की तो वो जस्ट इसलिए यू कैन रीड द वाइफ ऑफ बात तो यू कैन टेक हर करेक्टर एज वेल Yes, you can read it. Yeah, so I... it on you and you don't even know. अच्छा मैं इसलिए कह रहा हूँ क्योंकि मैं वाइफ बनने का मेरे पास ऑप्शन नहीं है मतलब आई कैन बी वाइफ ऑप्शन नहीं है ना मेरे पास वो आ जाता है ना कंटेंट एरर फोर जीरो फोर वाला सीन तो मतलब आई कैन नॉट बी एनी बडी आपको वाइफ चूज करने के लिए आपको आप वाइफ चूज करने के लिए ये वही वाली औरत थी जिसने पांच कतल किए थे अच्छा तो फिर उस सूरत में आई वुड लाइक टू बी के वो मतलब तो मैं छठे वाले के लिए सही हूँ मतलब सिक्स वैसे भी सही है या मेबी आई वुड बचपन अच्छी कोई मेमोरी शेयर करें हमसे गणेश की बिकॉज डेफिनेटली एरम से कुए कर लेते हैं एरम वैसे बिल्कुल वो बिल्कुल अपने सर पे एक पंखा लगाया वो सेवेंटीज की हीरोइन होते हैं ना बाल रोड़े होते हैं फुल वो वाला सीन वाला बाल हमेशा ऐसे ही होते हैं हां आपका वो वाला सीन है वो शाहरुख खान की मूवीज वाला कि आप एंटर होती हैं और बाल यूं उड़ रहे होते हैं ओह माय गॉड वो स्टॉप है बाल स्टार्ट हो जाते हैं या बट एरम ऑन अ सीरियस नोट वन मेमोरी बिकॉज़ यू विल बी ग्रेजुएटिंग फ्रॉम ग्रेनेच एंड यू नो एक अरसा गुजरा है तो कैसा रहा It was one hell of a roller coaster ride, and mm-hmm. um, I have lot of memories because I am very clumsy. So mm-hmm. I have had a lot of memories. I still remember. Yeah, I would share it. Um, Miss Nadia, who was basically at that time my classmate, also. So, so we were taking this course with Sir Salman, and. <laughs> <laughs> मैं मिस नादिया से बोलूंगा मिस नादिया आपको बहुत सारी फनी मोमेंट्स हैं जरा लिख डालें क्योंकि ये शर्मा शर्मी में शायद ना बोलें आप बीइंग अ टीचर बात करती हैं तो मिस नादिया आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट टू राइट अ फ्यू फनी मोमेंट्स तो जी सलमान सर की आप कुछ बता रही थी हां तो इट वाज अ सलमान सर आई वाज लॉस्ट इन माय ओन बबल इन माय ओन पता नहीं क्या घर सोचे थे घर जाके ये करना एंड सर सलमान वांटेड एवरीवन टू पार्टिसिपेट इन द क्लास सो आई वाज लॉस्ट सो ऑल ऑफ अ सडन समबडी वाज सेइंग के उसका सबकॉन्शियस होगा सो सर वाज लाइक यू नो व्हाट्स योर ओपिनियन ऑन इट आई हर्ड इट फ्रॉम सम वेयर सबकॉन्शियस सो आई जस्ट सेड यस सर सबकॉन्शियस होगा सो कहते व्हाट इज सबकॉन्शियस आई वाज अम सर कहां लॉस्ट टाइम आई नो So I still remember university. and i said yeah i want to meet sir babar so i thought i i perceived him well in a very different way he would be wearing a suit or something so a guy came to me in a casual uh, dress and he was like hey, so i was like and i was like sir babar ne laya itna pagal kiya hua hai inhone mujhe and i started taking all my anger on him 
तो चलो इनको सुना देती हूँ मैं बोला सर बाबर से मिलना पागल की आवा एक बंदे से मिलने के लिए इतना फॉर होना पड़ता है एंड आई कैप्ट ऑन टॉकिंग टॉकिंग इट वाज लाइक आपको मिलके क्या करना उनसे मैंने बोला आई जस्ट वांटेड टू टॉक टू हिम मुझे देखना है आई जस्ट वांटेड टू से आई एम सर बाबर हेलो ओ सर आई एम सॉरी ये तो वाकई बहुत ज्यादा मतलब ऐसा मोमेंट हो गया कि मैं क्या बताऊं but uh, then again you know these are memories and uh, we will miss you at ganesh and uh, uh, stay in touch kyunki dekhen ye digital duniya hai aap uh, asma malaysia se ja ke bhi apne uh, humorous uh, comments hamare sath share kar sakte hain <laughs> and you can always uh, share your exposure and how life is over there aur uh, before i leave main aap teenon se ek sawal karna chahta hu please jawab de diyega koi bhi jawab de de i would be very thankful कि जहाँ लिटरेचर का फादर ये हमारे चौसर साहब थे वहां पे इस बात का फादर कौन था जिसने बोला कि लिटरेचर के अंदर 25 से 30 शीटें भरनी होती हैं। आई वॉन्ट टू नो हिज ने कोई बता दे हाईलाइट ऑफ द शो ठीक है वो जो ना कैप्शन दिखाते हैं यूट्यूब पर कि ये बात हुई थी और फिर वो पूरी वीडियो चलती है ये वो वाला सीन होगा तो लेट्स लेट्स जस्ट नॉट टॉक अबाउट इट एंड ऑन अ गुड नोट कि हमें जैसी जैसे के बारे में बात करनी थी सवाल <laughs> करना है क्योंकि देखें बहुत से लोग हैं जो ये भी उन, उन शख्सों की भी हड्डियां ढूंढ रहे हैं जिन्होंने मैथमेटिक्स आजाद की थी ठीक है एक्स की वैल्यू ढूंढनी है एक्स की वैल्यू पता होती तो एक्स थोड़ी होती कमिंग बैक टू द्वाइंट ये बताए ये शीटें भरने का जो सिलसिला ये किसने शुरू किया है हम सब जानना चाहते हैं खास तौर पे विजिलेटर एक्चुअली लिटरेचर देखो लिटरेचर इज ऑल अबाउट राइटिंग एंड हाउ यू एक्सप्रेस योरसेल्फ वंस यू आर राइटिंग अबाउट लिटरेचर इट्स नॉट सो मच डायरेक्ट यू नीड टू पुट आउट डिफरेंट फिलॉसफीज एंड डिफरेंट इंटेलेक्चुअल व्यूज इन इट तो फॉर मी आई डू राइट अ लॉट आई नेवर फॉलो अ सर्टेन क्राइटेरिया ऑफ एन वर्ल्ड लिमिट मेरी फिफ्थ ग्रेड से अभी तक याद आते हैं अगर मुझे 200 वर्ड्स दिए जाएंगे तो मैं 300 लिख देती हूं ठीक है जब व्हेन यू स्टार्ट राइटिंग यू कैन नॉट स्टॉप द फ्लो So my uh, stance is that you know we write because that's what we love. That's why we're here. We we want to play with words. And uh, I would end on a good note that time and tide wait for no one. That is what Jeffrey Chaucer said. Please read his uh, tales. Uh, try to interrelate them with today's point of view. Bring in more questions if you like. Ask us questions as well. We're open to all of that, and we'll have so much fun. Thank you so much, now, uh, Iram and Asma. I will miss you. Last question. Last question. <laughs> ये लास्ट क्वेश्चन है कि ये बताएं कि बड़े लोग इस जद्दोजहद में रहते हैं ज्यादा लोग कामयाब नहीं हो सकते आप कामयाब हो गए सो व्हाट इज द सीक्रेट बिहाइंड गेटिंग गुड मार्क्स फ्रॉम सर सलमान डू आई हैव टू आंसर दैट या यू हैव टू या इट इज सिंपल जस्ट टेक पेन एंड मेक सेंस दैट्स ओके तो ठीक है ये टिप बाकी सबको दिए कि Take pen and make sense. I've been with sense. Who in on elaborate? Not yet, but either way, thank you so much, guys. And uh, indeed, it was a wonderful session. मुझे interest हुआ है मैं show कतम होते ही I will search about uh, Jeffrey Chaucer और मैंने नाम सही से लिया इसका मतलब है कि मैं वाकई interested हूँ और Wikipedia के ऊपर पहले उनके बारे में पढ़ूँगा फिर उसके बाद मैं उनकी किताबें पढ़ूँगा and let's see uh, who he was क्योंकि uh, हमारे ये sessions करने का मकसद ही है ये कि हम लोगों में literature की थोड़ा सा इंटरेस्ट पैदा करें और थोड़ा सा जो हिस्ट्री से कितने लोग हैं जो इतना कुछ लिखते हुए आ रहे हैं उनसे कुछ इंस्पिरेशन लें और आज के जो हमारे स्टूडेंट्स हैं एज वी सीन असमा शी इज गोइंग फॉर अ पी एच डी वी सीन इराम शी इज अबाउट टू ग्रेजुएट विद अ मास्टर्स डिग्री इन लिटरेचर बहुत बड़ी बात है एंड वी वॉन्ट आर स्टूडेंट्स यू नो टू गेट दैट प्लेटफॉर्म सो दैट दे कैन बी द फ्यूचर राइटर्स हु आर द इन्फ्लुएंस फॉर द जनरेशन टू कम सो ऑल द बेस्ट गाइज Thank you so much for being at Greenwich Live Sessions, and uh, uh, that's all for today. ये था हमारा आज का session. I hope you liked it. जहाँ हमने Jeffrey Chaucer के बारे में बात की, उनके काम के बारे में बात की. वहीं we had a little lighter moment uh, with our literature students because literature के पीछे भी बड़ी कहानियाँ होती हैं, दास्तानें होती हैं. Literature is all about uh, you know stories and poems and history and lots of things. So it is a very interesting subject. लोग कहते हैं boring है. but i don't understand why because literature is a subject jahan once you start reading you know aap kho se jate hain ek puri duniya ek samandar hai literature ka where you start talking 
so you can talk for hours and hours and hours and that is the uh, beauty of literature so i hope you enjoyed the session for today we'll be back tomorrow with another session uh, aap feedback apna de sakte hain let us know in the comments ke um, aap future mein kin topics pe shows dekhna chahte hain future mein kin guest ko dekhna chahte hain next week mein aapke liye bahut bahut uh, bade bade surprises hain some big names uh, celebrities ke liye aapke favorites ke liye bahut se acche log uh, lined up hain waise sare log acche hote hain but something and someone you want to see in a very different way future ke live sessions mein is lined up for you so until next time keep smiling stay positive uh, stay safe and pakistan zindabad